Technology isn't always easy. It is, however, becoming a necessity. Here we talk about North Carolina real estate, business, and life. Today's Real Talk, todaysrealtalk.com. Justin Kazepis, 844-STUDIO-4. That's the number if you've got a question for our Q&A session at the end of the show. Going to have Representative John Hardister out of District 59, Guilford County. He is the North Carolina House Majority Whip. Also a primary on North Carolina House Bill 776, an act to allow remote electronic notarization technology technology covid whenever it landed in 2020 everyone had to uh, go to their homes utilize technology the infamous zoom conferences that still continue to this day and uh, will likely not go away for quite some time brought on a push and that push was for um, an increase of technology uses on more professional, applicable, everyday cases, including notarization. As a closing attorney, I recall many a times thinking to myself, and this is me being honest, why must I separate all these pages have the client sign them, notarize them after printing them off, scan them back in, mail them, shred everything else that's in between and go right back to a digital format of documents. Why waste time, the great equalizer for all, if there were a more simplistic, as safe and secure approach to conducting business. There was also something else occurring for those that had a general fear of going out and being with people. If you can't leave your home, but you've got to complete certain things that require the use of a notary, what do you do? And there was an emergency, uh, uh, an emergency order and legislation put into place that authorized remote notarization, still physically wet signing documents, but utilizing mail um, and video conferencing to complete that. But now we're moving into a pure electronic realm where the notary is utilizing an electronic stamp on a document completed via a web application of some sort that allows us to not have to be in the same room yet complete the documents in the moment electronically you sign it, it is considered complete, enforceable, fully executed. So that brings us to the day of, is it okay? Is it good? Is it bad? A lot of it has to do with change and what are you okay with. Change is hard. Technology, though, is looked at at becoming more efficient. Many say more cost-effective, and we'll talk about that a little bit. But I also think about the general application of interstate commerce, and I think about Okay, as a business owner in North Carolina, what is important to me to preserve that business while at the same time promoting healthy competition? And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about House Bill 776, the Remote Electronic Notarization Act that's now passed into law. The time frame uh, being basically that something is to be put in place from a solution provider perspective, the technology piece, by mid-2023. And so we're going to talk to Representative John Hardister about that. Looking forward to that conversation. We're gracious for his time. There were other primaries on the bill. To be fair, we did reach out to all of them to give them an opportunity to come on and discuss the bill. Representative Hardister was the one who agreed to come on. Uh, looking forward to that conversation. Again, 844-STUDIO-4. That's the number if you've got questions for that Q&A session coming up at the end of the show. Justin Gazepis coming right back. <laughs> 